This is a video for how to go about rendering a view of a design in Fusion 360. So within Fusion 360, I've gone in and kind of made this large coffee mug that I have in my kitchen. Uh, I went ahead and embossed uh, Georgia Southern around the outside. I guess that's what it says on the outside of the mug. It's from Georgia Southern University. And just kind of messed around a little bit. And I wanted to go in and do some renderings of it, which is, you know, a higher quality image. So I'm going to go up to the Design tab, and I want to go down to Render. And you'll notice that automatically I get kind of a little bit of a different viewscape in Fusion. And what I can do is I can go up and change the appearance of objects. I can change the color of the actual object in the same way that I can change the appearance, you know, in the design mode. I can also change appearances in the render mode. I don't want to do that, though. And in this case, I do want to change the scene settings, though. And there's all these different scene settings that you can choose from. And you can go in and change the view from a perspective view to an orthographic view. Um, you can change like depth of field things. You can say where you're going to save it as a default, like saying that these settings would be a default setting. But what I want to do just for the sake of the video is just change the environment library. And there's all these different ways that you can set up lighting on the object. So if I just wanted cool light on it, you can see I'm in the current environment of cool light. I can drag out and have something known as grid light. You know, there's all these different light settings that appear. And you can find one that you like. Um, I, there's different libraries you can choose from. You can kind of create your own, but these are the default ones placed. You know, I can have this coffee mug you know, sitting out in the middle of nowhere, but I have to download these separately. So those are a little bit different, but these are the ones that are preloaded. I'm just going to choose cool light for what I have going on here. And I'm going to go to close. And once I'm ready and I want to render, I can choose, you know, where I want the image to be captured. You know, I can capture just this image right here, you know, and I can say OK and save just the file of that captured image there. Or, you know, I can do other things. So, you know, I can choose the option to save it to my computer wherever I want to save it and say, you know, I want to go to desktop and you know, save it here. And I can do different things with how I choose to save just an image of itself. But if I go into render and I want to like have this render up in the cloud, I can choose a cloud rendering or a local rendering. And for the sake of the video, I'm just going to do a cloud rendering. There's all these different settings they have set up for if, you know, you're going to do an image for your website, a phone, you're going to print it out. I'm just going to stay in custom. I'm going to obviously let, you know, you, the user, go through and choose whatever, you know, settings that you want. But I'm going to go through and I'm going to say render. Before I do that, though, you're going to see it says credits required, and it's one credit. So if you have cloud credits, however you have set up with Fusion, if you have an educational license, there's a certain amount of credits they give you. If you've bought Fusion, obviously you buy credits. But I'm going to go ahead and just say render. And it's going to start a rendering in the cloud. And you'll see that I have one down here that's already completed. I had this one about 13 minutes ago. There's another one over here that started, you know, and I started a few seconds ago. It's going to take about seven minutes or so. But I'm going to click on the one that I did that's already completed just for the sake of the video. You know, it's, I would make us sit here and wait for that to be done. And I can go through and I can actually, you know, turn table around the object if I want to. And I can render, a, you know, kind of a rotation of it, of just that rendering if I want. But for the sake of time, I'm just going to go to download. And I can say, what do I want to download the file as? And I'm going to download this as a JPEG. And automatically, it's going to come up, and it's going to ask me where I want to save it. And I'm just going to save it to my desktop, wherever, and just have it saved. So if you're doing this just for a basic you know, object that you want to view and have turned into, let's say, an assignment, or you're trying to you know, export an image that you can send to somebody, you know, like, look at what I made, look at our design, this is some basic you know, rendering skills and saving skills. You know, the main point of this video that I'm making is just some basic rendering concepts. You could get into a much longer, much more detailed video um, with rendering and how you choose to, you know, view the object and, you know, the light that's on it, the scene that it's in. You can find separate scenes to load and you can do a lot of personalized things in the rendering function of Fusion 360. But I just wanted to create a basic video that showed you the, you know, basic outline and concepts and where everything is for rendering in Fusion 360. So this has been a video for how to go about a basic rendering in Fusion 360.